We all agree that Final Fantasy XV is a beautiful game, probably the most beautiful game out there. And today's video, I'm going to enhance it even more uh, with this Luminous Engine Graphics Config tool. And there's going to be some mods that I'm going to be installing just to fix the lighting in like Golden K or in some cities. All right. So, yeah. So first of all, you want to download this, go to manual download and then you go for slow download and then just open it. There you go. Close this and zip it. All right. Use whatever it is. WinRAR 7 zips. I'll go to graphics tools and here and then you go to your Steam library and then you go to Final Fantasy 15. Okay, here it is. And then you right click on this, uh, manage, uh, browse local files, and then you go to the, the mods again. And then you copy and paste this to this folder. And then as you can see right there, I have copy and pasted this. So I don't need to do that anymore. So you go here, go to graphics configuration tool, uh, go to graphics tool.exe, and then you will open the, the config UI or whatever it is. So uh, my display resolution is 1080p. Sorry about that. I know it's kind of lame, but my rendering resolution will be at 4K and maximum frame rate will be at 120 FPS. FPS visibility, I don't need that. Config visibility, I don't need that. Uh, V-Sync of hardware full screen mode just turn it off a uh, full screen mode on startup yes please this is only the uh, enabling borderless and not borderless so that's basically it. the hardware full screen mode okay so uh, there you go fp16 back buffering this will make a half position floating point operation for back buffer S excuse me so potentially a greater performance at no visible loss in image quality so yeah just go for it why not right and then just take all man and high spec asset data texture streaming memory i go for the highest and the so tropic filters i go for the highest again i think in game as far as i know in game you can only do it until eight times in this tool you can do it until 16 times so that's pretty good right and now shadow resolution will be at the highest now the distance scaling you don't want to be at the highest because if you go at the highest the, there will be some bug uh, for the shadows uh, it will flicker and it will you know like disappear and whatnot so i keep it at 400 percent and i think that's the the good the good the good point you know make it make make the game even more beautiful without any glitching without any stuttering or without any yeah glitching basically these two will hit your performance like a tank so be careful with that and modal LOD scaling will be at uh, the highest because you know I want to make it even more beautiful even more high quality high fidelity so that's basically it and screen uh, filter detail level uh, is gonna be at high uh, anti alias will be at TAA FXAA it, it can be a bit you know jaggy so Nvidia game works will I will turn this on I think terrain tessellation doesn't work anymore in the latest in the latest patch of ff15 but you know what let's just turn that on anyway you can go up to 8k for your internal resolution right like your rendering resolution so if, i mean if you have a 4090 then might as well do it and try it out but i don't have it will burn my gpu like it will explode i kid you not but then again that's pretty much it click ok and then go to the Final Fantasy main folder again and check the graphics tool, whatever it is. Here it is, graphics config. If this is created, then your FF15 will apply all the graphics that we just set up. So that's basically it. And if you don't have it, I don't know. I don't know how to troubleshoot it. So, so that is how we install the mods. It's so simple. And then I do have the Flagrum mod. Wait a minute. There you go. And take a look at this, done pause for Prompto, Final Fantasy Horizon, and the Project Akari module, which is only fixing the like shadows and the textures in most of the series. See, Altitia, this is the main, see, enables dynamic shadow casting from light sources all around the game world. Basically just fixing all the shadows that is being bugged or you know, just seems weird. All right, so let's get into the game. So as I was saying, before I applied this patch or applied the mods and whatnot, uh, my game is running at like 80 to 70 uh, to 90. But when I applied the mod, it's running at like 50 to 60 FPS. So that is quite a performance drop. But with this kind of visual, I mean, come on, man. 
it's probably all the reason why you are still playing FF15. Just enjoying the graphics, the vibes, and the simple combat. I know it's not that simple, but you know. Alright, so we are going to test it in game now. Let's load my save file. Let's turn on the performance stats. As you can see, um, like what I <laughs> told you in the beginning of the video, I'm getting 40 FPS in the city. And take a look at this. Wow. Only 60 man. I, I, I think I've never go above 70 FPS in, in the main world like this. I mean, in some dungeons, I can go out until like 90 FPS, but never above 100. So this thing is crazy. Take a look at this, man. All the shadows are so good. So good. So beautiful. The hair works, everything. I mean, if you go, I mean, if you apply the the shadow distance until like 1600 or even 800 uh, percent, the shadow behind, I mean, the shadow on the floor will be like super bucked out. It will disappear and then appear again. And some, some can glitch and whatnot. So not good. It doesn't make the game even more beautiful. It, it, it makes the game worse. But uh, let's get to it. So we are hitting 60 FPS. I mean, this is basically at 4K. This is a 4K game, right? Because we rendered the resolution at 4K. Even though my display is 1080p. Okay, let's get into the cutscene. Take a look at that. I mean, like the shadows are a bit more, uh, are a bit more calm, and then a bit more. I don't know, a bit more uh, nicer, right? You're welcome. Yeah. So in cutscenes we don't we don't have any FPS drop like in the movie cutscenes, but not the in-game cutscene. He'll be fine, don't worry. But we ought to take a closer look at this so-called disc. Man, this game is just still so beautiful. No substitute for being on site. Stop. See, there's no more awkward shadows bouncing everywhere. Everything seems a bit more natural in my opinion. So that's good. That's good. Take a look at that, take a look at all the sceneries, like, wow. Even the model LOD scaling, uh, it is at the highest, right? Everything is just super clear. Take a look at the fans right there, man. Take a look at that, like, all the fans, like, they're all there. No, no, like, um, jagged edges uh, or even uh, anti-aliasing, stuttering. So that is pretty cool. Now, I do like reshade, and if you are asking me, like, why don't you just use the reshade to make the game even more beautiful? Um, yes, I do have it. I've installed it. I tried it. It just doesn't look that good. If it looks fake, in my opinion. Um, so yeah. So I prefer this method, like fixing the in-game from the in-game tool, or even using mods, not some reshade. I know reshade. You can um, do even more post-processing, like. Um, Having the uh, depth of field and whatnot, even more blur, even better blur. But I don't know. I just don't like it, and sometimes it can bug out more than using the internal uh, resolution or internal graphic configuration. Take a look at that. Even at night, Noctis looks beautiful. <laughs> sometimes it can look a bit awkward, like there's some shadows flickering. But damn, man. Take a look at the light bouncing from the from the from the shirt from the jacket. Let's do it. So good. I'm not one to stand Come on, Arden. Show show us your beautiful face. That's where I let garlic. So we take two boy of salt, shall we? Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why Arania is in our team, like in our team, in our party, it's because I am using mods, a uh, renewal mod, and it's really really fun. Speed, height, UI, LOD, distance two times five times recommended you can go up to like again 25 times why not you know let's make the game even more stuttery god damn but this this, this game is just so beautiful man oh my god the LO, lod distance is hitting us like a tank wow you can have cheats too but i'm not using it because i want to experience the full game by myself like grinding and whatnot so next game but i really do like the hundred percent drop rate so let's turn that on I'm just gonna leave it to Ignis because I am super lazy. Why is his smile so <laughs> fucking scary, man? 
All right, let's go. Chase. A no tailgating. Boil the trip. All right, all right. Come on, let's go, let's go. First Galden and then let's... What coincidence? Huh? Way too convenient to be a coincidence. I reckon he's following us around. But to what end? He play. As does his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. I'd sooner not rely on him. He may be our only way in to the Disk of Kothis. What's his highness's opinion of this? I don't really have one. He's nothing more than a will do to me. You hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's why we came up with... Gotta watch our backs the whole way. No. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wanna have one behind the wheel? Stop if you need to, all right? So, any havens along the way? Man. Somebody else wants a proper bed. Nice firm grounds, much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Do the stars at one with nature? What's not to like? Now in the wild, they're check out. Blow the bis whistle to summon enemy combatants. Wait, I can do that? All right. I never know I could I could do that actually. <laughs> Ooh, Lady Luna Freya. Nah, this is too boring. I mean, I, I like Luda Luna, but she is just too boring of a character in this in this game. Bro, look at look at the, all the graphics, man. I'm only getting 30 FPS. You can't just let yourself go because I'm using like more LOD um, distance. And not gonna lie, it does look it does look better for the scenery and whatnot. But wow! Oh my God, it's so bright. God damn it, man! This game looks beautiful even <laughs> in 2024. Holy hell! Let's go. Let's go to the desk and fight our way. Pieces that he's still in the meat locals in there. Look at the head. Look at look at the lighting, man. In this in this stage, wow! It's so so bright. Oh, what's this? Pick up high elixir. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Come on, knocked. No. To be honest, I don't I'm like this sure. bit. Because you are only only with who is this called Gladiolus and too much bitching or even whining in this scene. Woo! Looking good, buddy. Tyrant is looking so good. Very well. You can parry through that? No way. Come on. Nice. Wait, you can throw the sword? <laughs> no way. Nice. Easy peasy. Oh my God! Nine FPS. Yo, what the hell, dude? I have an RDX 4080 and this. Holy. It's only 20 FPS, but I've never seen an FPS this low in my life anymore until now. Well, I well I used to have a 1060, 6 gigabytes, so it is more common than you think, okay? When I when I use that GPU, but when I use my GPU now, it is not so common anymore. But damn, 10s man in a 20 year old game? No, it's not 20 year old. Like 10 year old game? Wow. It's, it's kind of crazy if you think about it. This is a 10 year old game and this GPU is freaking new. My god, dude. I really hate this scene. <laughs> this is so cringy, man. Really hate it. But you know what? It's it's kind of like an anime thing, so I think it's cool. Even though it's kind of cringy. Some people might like it, some people might not. I don't. But it's fine. Sorry. And what's good again about this game is that the performance, as you can see, there's no stutters, no anything at all. Like it's all constant FPS. Look at look at look at the performance stats. Look at the FPS line. Like no stutters, even though it's going up and down, but no stutters at all, which is insane in my opinion. They really may make it up for the the lack in development, I guess. Because as you all know, this game's development is hell. Like Hell, hell. Ooh, nice. Oh shit, bro. Come on, take that. Boom, boom, boom. Get lost. Such an anime uh, voice acting. Performance in this game is top notch. Top notch. That's why I like this game. Visuals, good. Performance, really good. Gameplay is nice. Story is bad. And the combat, man. Even the DLC is really good. Really, really good. I mean, if they do it right, Luminous Engine is just top tier in my opinion because they can do it pretty much anything if you see it from final fantasy 15 but i don't know why forspoken is really bad let's hold it hold it 30 fps come on <laughs> again let's go what i think this is a pretty good video for a showcase honestly because as you can see right there all the titans all from all the dungeons from all the particles like damn 
so good. Oh shit, I forgot to dodge, man. Holy. All right, let's uh, use potion in this one. All right, let's go. Dodge that? How do I? Oh, I gotta follow uh, Gladio. Look, as far as I know, there's a reshade preset called RTGI. It's basically ray tracing for any game that you want. But you gotta pay, so I don't want to do that, man. RTGI, and then you have to pay for it? No, that's lame. Come on, run! Ah, this is so cool, man. I mean, I got goosebumps. Block? Like th this fight is insane. It's probably like uh, the fight in Final Fantasy 16, where you have these icon battles. Okay, counter, counter, counter. Let's go, let's go. Oh, 20 FPS! Oh my God! But this, I think this is better because Noctis is a human. Uh, he doesn't change to anything else. So, oh my god, it's buggy. Oh my god, look at the hand, bro. So as I was saying, I think this is cooler because Noctis is a human. And it shows how powerful Noctis is, actually. So, come on. Yes, Armager. Let's go. Stasis? Ow, bro. Oh, there's Prompto. Oh shit, I'm supposed to block. Oh my god, 4 FPS, man. What the hell is going on? This, this fight is insane, even until now. Even though it, I think it is quite scripted, but it's still insane though. Nice, Woo! Take a look at that. Right, Armager time, let's go. No, this is just doing all the damage. Oh my god, one HP? No problem. What the? We have infinite Armager in this scene, man. Wait, what? Dude, what is this? Why is the Imperial on us? What the heck? Parry? Counter? No? Okay. What is this? Ignis? I've Team up to do damage titan um, into action. Wait, I think I need to uh, to do Blizzara, right? So let's take a look at this. Element C, uh, Ice. Let's go. Blizzard. Okay. So, craft. Alright, equip. Blizzara. Wait, not us? Alright. Come on, Noct! Nice. Okay, guys, I think... This is a pretty good one, right? I've showcased enough. I have showcased enough. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This game is still. This game is just stunning. There's no more word for it. Take a look at this. The LOD detail and whatnot. Chocobos. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and hopefully you can also enhance the graphics even more by mods and configuration tool. Enjoy the game, and as always, have fun with the game, man.